Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here with my next televised game in the uh, in the Atlantic League, which is the league that I made up of uh, franchise teams. And let me get out of here for a minute. I'm going to take you to the standings as they are now. League stats. And this is how the Atlantic League is lining up right now. I'm the Chicago White Sox. And again, these are franchise teams, not really true franchise teams. But they are original 1994 American League teams that have franchise players from the past from those organizations on their team. And as you can see, we are winning the AL Central right now with a 9-2 and record. And we're four games better than Kansas City. I mean... We are really uh, taking it to that division. Down in the West, you've got Seattle and Oakland both tied at 9-3 and three, and only a game and a half ahead of Texas and California. One is 7-4 and four, and the other is 8-5. and five. And then up in the uh, East, you've got Boston leading with a mediocre 6-5 and five record and only a game better than Baltimore. And we are today going to be taking on the first place Boston Red Sox from the East. So I will go back to here. We will put in play day and we will light it off. And as you can see, we are going to have Alex Fernandez going up against Aaron Seeley of the Red Sox. Our lineup is going to be Tim Raines in left, Lance Johnson in center, Frank Thomas at first, Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco at DH. Uh, Patsy Daugherty will be in right field. Robin High Venture is going to be at third. Carlton Fisk at catcher, Guillen at short, and Cora at second. So now, what makes this a franchise uh, team is Patsy Daugherty uh, is from like uh, 1911 or something, or 1909 or something like that. And Fisk is from 1986. He didn't play on the White Sox. I don't think he played in 1994 at all. Um, so those players are out of place. And if we go over to um, the uh, uh, the Boston lineup, you've got Otis Nixon leading off at center, Jose Valentin at shortstop, Carl Yazjastremski at first base, Tony Canigliaro in right field. So Tony Canigliaro, he is uh, he did not play for the Red Sox in um, 1994. Obviously, he played in the 60s. Mo Vaughn at DH. Um, J.D. Martinez in left field. Tim Nering at second. Scotty Cooper will be over at third, and Roland will be the catcher. So. With all of that having been said, we're underway here from Fenway Park. Beautiful Fenway. Look at it. And so Tim Raines will be the first batter going up against Seeley. And he is going to, he's just going to miss a home run. And maybe they'll do that thing where he tries to play it at the wall and he doesn't quite get it. But he did. He got it. So uh, no run, <laughs> no run there. Lance Johnson is up. And Lance Johnson is going to ground out to first base to Yaz. Yaz makes the play, and the hurt comes up. The big hurt, and he's going to walk. Didn't really do a lot of hurting right there. He's uh, basically a rock on first base. So, uh, But Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco is going to get a single. And I, you know what? I'm going to send him. I'm going to send him, and it works because Boston doesn't try to play him and so Patsy Daugherty, our 1911 guy, is going to be up, and he's going to ground out. So Seeley gets out of it despite a little, uh, you know, some traffic on the bases. And Alex Fernandez is going to be the uh, pitcher, and he will be facing Otis Nixon, the speedy Otis Nixon. And Otis Nixon is aboard, so now we got to worry about him stealing. Um. And John Valentin is up, and they are going to try to get a lead with him, it looks like. But they couldn't. He's still 55%, though, and we're going to throw, and we're not going to get him. So Otis Nixon does steal second, as we were saying he might. And he's going to try to 
get third, but he doesn't. What a stoop. All right, well, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess if you're just six and five or whatever it is, Boston is, you know, you got to be, uh, got to take some chances. But Valentin gets a hit, and that brings up Yaz. And oh, by the way, Yaz, I mean, I was just, I gleaned over Yaz as if, oh, yeah, Yaz was on that Red Sox team. But no, he wasn't. He wasn't on the 94 Red Sox. He was on the 86 Red Sox. And so Tony Canigliaro is up. And they are getting a surprising a lot of, I mean, they're hitting Fernandez up here. But we do get the double play and get out of it. So Fernandez allowed a lot of guys on. That was a bad inning for him. Luckily, no runs came across. And Robin Ventura is up for us. And again, we get that home run. We get that ballpark home run 1-8 to eight and we miss it. And it's going to be a fly deep fly ball. Carlton Fisk, and he is not doing good in, in uh, the replay, and really it was based on a bad year for him. I think he hit like 227 in the year of the card that we're using, 1986. Ozzie Guillen is the batter, and he is going to ground out. So he hits the ball to short, and uh, he's out. So we're bringing in a little baseball after the baseball season is over. Mo Vaughn is up, and he's going to strike out with the Red Sox coming to the plate. J.D. Martinez, and J.D. Martinez, by the way, I gleaned over him, too. He was not on the 94 Red Sox. He didn't play baseball in 94. He was on the 2000, uh, I think, like the 2020 Red Sox is the one I'm using. The 2020 um, Imagine set. So he also was not on that 94 Red Sox team. And uh, there's two down quickly, and Scotty Cooper is up. Now, Cooper was on the 94 Red Sox. Martinez goes down to a 10. He's trying to get a lead. And, of course, they get the ballpark home run with Scotty Cooper. And so the Red Sox are going to take a 2 nothing lead on us, unfortunately. And Rich Rowland. And Rich Rowland, I think, was an old-time catcher, too. He was like a 1970 catcher for the Red Sox. So um, the Red Sox do strike first, and they strike big with a two-run crooked number on the board. And Seeley is going to come out and face Joey Cora. Joey Cora is going to hit a ground ball to short, so we're going to be down one quickly, one out here in the third. And Tim Rock Reigns is going to be up. He's going to hit a pop out to second. So there's two down. And Lance Johnson is the batter. And he's going to pop out to second as well. So Naring getting a lot of work this inning. And uh, the Red Sox get out of that. So we're going to the uh, bottom of the third. And the top of the order for the Red Sox, Otis Nixon walks. And, of course, you know what he did last time? He stole second, but then he was out trying to steal uh, third. He'll try it again, this time at 85%. We don't get him, and he goes to second. But um, I'm going to see if he wants to try it again. He doesn't want to try it again. He, I, apparently he learned his lesson, and John Valentin walked. Now, you remember last time John Valentin singled. So they would have had a run even that inning. Of course, now they uh, Fernandez is just having a terrible game. He walked Yastrzemski. He's allowed 55 guys on base already. And he allows a single one right up the middle. Fernandez, terrible, terrible outing. Mo Vaughn is up, and Mo Vaughn's going to strike out. So there's one out. Now we really need a double play here because we're losing 3 nothing. And J.D. is up, and he does strike out. Well, I mean, we needed a double play would have been better, but at least the strikeout doesn't score anyone. And Tim Naring is going to be out. So after allowing a run, Fernandez does recover. But we're down 3 nothing, And Seeley is out there dealing, and he's going to deal with the big hurt who's going to ground out to shortstop. So there's one down. And Julio Franco is up, and Franco gets aboard with a walk. He works Sealy for a walk, so he's aboard with Patsy Daugherty up. And Patsy Daugherty is going to pop out to second. So I may have to reach back to my bench at some point and get some big bats off of that bench. Um, 
And uh, we have Robin Ventura coming up. And he's going to hit the ball to Nixon in center. Let's see if Nixon can misplay it. I doubt it, but we'll see. No, he makes the catch. So Fernandez is back out there for the fourth, but uh, yeah, I'm really thinking, no, a single to Cooper. He's just getting, he's getting completely jacked. I, and I don't, I really don't get this. I mean, the Red Sox probably are playing the best game of their year right now. And that was a ground ball B, so now Roland is at first, and Otis Nixon is the batter. And Otis Nixon is going to hit another single. This guy has been on every time. At least he's got Roland blocking him from stealing this time. And there's going to be a line out. So uh, Otis Nixon has Alex Fernandez's number, and he's going to get Yastrzemski to fly out to left field. So he comes out barely again with his, just out by the skin of his ass, he gets out of that inning. And now we have Carlton Fisk up. And Carlton Fisk is going to hit a single. Thank God. Let's get somebody on board here. Ozzie Guillen is the batter, and he's going to hit into a double play. Thank you, Ozzy. And Joey Cora is the batter, and he's going to walk. So Joey Cora gets aboard. He had a good on-base percentage in 1994. Tim Raines is the batter, and he's going to walk. So we got two on, but we've got to capitalize here. We've got Lance Johnson. Come on, Lance. He's going to hit a fly ball to left, and that's Martinez, and you know Martinez is going to misplay that ball. Yeah, it's a two-bagger. So Johnson hits a one-run double, and now the big hurt is up. And the big hurt is going to put a hurting on him. He gets a single. I am going to send the lead runner. And we've tied the game. Thankfully, we have tied the game. And Julio Franco is up, and he's going to hit a fly ball. So bad defense on the part of the Red Sox does him in that inning and allows for the game to be tied after uh uh, four and a half innings. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. Tony Canigliaro is up for the Red Sox, and he gets the fly ball. He gets that ballpark homer, but it's a fly ball to Tim Raines. Fernandez having a terrible day again. Mo Vaughn, and Fernandez is up to 89 pitches, which isn't surprising because he's allowing everybody and their brother on base. And there's two down quickly with Martinez up. Martinez is going to hit a fly ball out to Patsy Daugherty, though, and he's terrible in right field. But he grabs it. Nice. He got it. So, and here's the aforementioned Patsy Daugherty. And how often do you see that? The guy that makes the play that ends the inning before comes up, and he's just going to hit a ground ball to Tim Naring, although Naring isn't good at second, and it is a base hit. We have Robin Ventura up. I'm just going to let him hit normally. I'm not going to do any hit and runs or anything, but he strikes out. And that brings Fisk to the plate, and Fisk is going to hit a ground ball back to the pitcher into a double play. So Fernandez is still out there in the sixth here. He's pitched, he's thrown 96 pitches, so he's probably getting tired, not to mention he was tired right at the start because he sucked right from the start of this game. And uh, yeah, 65%, let's try No, we don't throw him out, and he goes to third base. Um, we're bringing the infield in, and I agree with that. I'll go along with it. Uh, ground ball to second. Or wait a minute. No, pop out to second. All right, pop out to second. So there's one away. And Rich Rowland is up, and he is going to just get out. And so now we go back to the infield back, and... Nixon, who's been on every single time, every single time Nixon has molested Fernandez here. I cannot believe it. All right, so Nixon puts them ahead with, uh, and then Valentin. This is really crazy. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'm, geez, I'm just not, I'm, I'm speechless. I don't know what's going on here. Fernandez should not be this bad. Ground ball to uh, ground ball to first base makes the play, and now we're down five three in the seventh. We've got Ozzie Guillen up. 
he hits a ground ball out to Scott Cooper, but he's good. He's a good third baseman. But he doesn't. It, it's an infield hit. I think it's, uh, yeah, I guess that was an infield hit, and Core is up. And uh, Core is going to go to the other side of the plate because they brought in Tony Fossis. And Tony Fossis is going to give up a no, no, because he doesn't have the power. So it's going to really be a single double asterisk with Tim Raines at the plate. And Tim Raines is going to get a single and get one of those runs back. I'm going to go the extra base. I, we've got to. And so now there's no outs. Runners at the corners. We're down 5-4 and Lance Johnson up. And Lance Johnson's going to line out the first. Fossis gets his first out. Frank the Big Hurt Thomas, and he's going to get a single. That ballpark single is great for us, I'll tell you that. I'm going to take the extra base, and now we have runners at the corners in a tie game. Only one out. Julio Franco up. Probably going to take Fosses out of the game. And they do, and they bring in Chris Howard. So he that was a disastrous decision for the Red Sox. We hit a ground ball to Cooper, and uh, they uh, get a a fielder's choice. So Patsy Doherty is the batter. Two out. Tie game at five. And uh, they're going to walk Doherty to pitch to Ventura. I don't know about that decision. But it's going to be a fly ball. Let's see if we, it can just barely be knocked over the wall by the outfielder. He can't get it. It's a home run. All right. Hey, so we that borderline homer became a homer, and we love it. We love it here, and there's a strikeout to Fisk. So we have a nine to five lead, and we're going to the bottom of the seventh. And you can bet I'm getting Fernandez the hell out of there because I mean he has just had a terrible game. Um, in fact, let's see, where do you look that up? Um, hmm. Well, I don't know, but anyway, we'll we'll look at it when the uh, when the game is over and we look at the box score. But it's bad; it's real bad. So we're gonna bring in. Um, let's see. I'm gonna bring in Dennis Cook. Dennis Cook is coming in to pitch to Canigliaro, and he allows a home run on the first guy he faces. And this is a real home run because Canigliaro has the power. So it's going to be 9-6. That brings up Mo Vaughn, the Moster, and he's going to pop out to short. And J.D. Martinez is the batter, and he walks. So J.D. aboard, Tim Naring up, only one out, and uh, Naring strikes out. Cook strikes him out. We're gonna and uh, that's Scotty Cooper is gonna draw a walk. So our pitching has just been terrible today, absolutely terrible, abysmal. Hit up the middle by Rich Rowland. Bases are loaded for Nixon, who has yet to get out and still has yet to get out. The guy is just a machine. I, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw for the out. I'm gonna try to get it. <sighs> It's 9-8, and Valentin is up, and Valentin is going to hit a three-run home run and put them back ahead. You have got to be joking. This is just unreal. Oh, my God. All right, Boston's ahead 11-9. to This is tiring me out. Yastrzemski is up. He hits the ball out to Ventura, who should make the play, but he doesn't. Because it's really it's a, a bad throw. It was an error on Ventura. And now a single by Canigliaro. That's probably going to be another run. Uh, yeah, i got to try to cut it off. I don't have a choice. All right, Mo Vaughn is up. Now they've got a 12-9 to lead, and Mo Vaughn strikes out. And Dennis Cook, Brandon Dennis Cook into the game was a horrible, horrible, horrible idea. Ozzy Guillen is the batter. Now we're down by three again in the eighth. And um, Howard is still out there, and he strikes out Guillen. Joey Cora is the batter, and Joey Cora is going to get a single. 
Joey Core has been pretty good for us. He hasn't been Nixon-ish, but he's been good. Core is aboard, and Tim Raines is the batter. He's going to hit a ball out to Valentin. Now, he's not the greatest shortstop, and he doesn't make the play. So Lance Johnson is up with only one out and two aboard, and he's going to pop out to short. Well, we could use a three-run homer here, and who's going to be up to do that but Frank Thomas. The big hurt, and he flies out. And this one, that's going to stay in the park. Martinez is going to play this one. So I'm going to take out uh, Cook for sure. Um, and we're going to put in... Um, we're going to put in Bummer, I suppose. So Aaron Bummer, of course, he's from the 2020 White Sox. He's going to come on to pitch here in the 8th with us down by 3. This has been a brutal game. Naring is up, and really Nixon is the one. Otis Nixon has made it particularly brutal for us. And then Scott Cooper is up. He's 2 for 3 today, but he strikes out. And now it's all up to this lineup. Uh, we're down by three. Franco is the batter. Chris Howard is still out there for some reason. And uh, Franco flies out to center. Daugherty is up. We're going to let Daugherty hit, and he's going to pop out to second. And that brings up Robin High Ventura. And Robin High Ventura is going to fly out. And we have lost this game, mainly because our pitching was abysmal. And we're going to take a look at that in just a quick second here. But that was crazy. Yeah, let's go get the box score. Let's do that. So there you go. I mean, we hit well enough. We had, uh, we had nine runs and 12 hits. But uh, they had uh, 12... Uh, they had, they had 12 runs on 15 hits. Fernandez went six. He allowed nine hits and walked four guys and allowed five earned runs. Then Cook came in and he just lit the place on fire. He gave up, uh, uh, he pitched an inning, gave up six hits and six earned runs, seven total. And then Bummer finally came in and calmed everything down, but it was way too late. Seeley went six. He allowed six hits and four earned runs. Walked four. Fossus came in and appeared to lose the game for him. He pitched a third of an inning, allowed three earned runs. And then Howard came in and allowed two earned runs and two and two-thirds. But not a good thing. And so we're going to take a look at the uh, league stats now. Of course, we're still in first place, but we've lost a game to, uh, on Kansas City, a game lead on Kansas City. And, uh, yeah, not good. That is not good at all. So that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.